We were lucky enough to visit the stunning Austrian Alps twice this year. And even though we spent most of the time hanging out with friends and being in the moment, we wanted to share our experience in this beautiful part of the world with you. We started our trip in Salzburg, the city of music, where everything is Mozart themed, and then headed to Waldemarkt in Pongaus Valley, where we experienced the end of the snowy winter season and beginning of spring, and spent the day in the famous city of Alstadt. Join us as we try traditional Austrian food, drive, walk and hike through incredible scenery and watch us fall in love with these epic landscapes. We arrived in Salzburg's old town for the first time in January and were instantly charmed by its storybook streets which look pretty much as they did when Mozart lived here 250 years ago. In fact, Salzburg's old town has one of the best preserved city centers in Europe and it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We loved wandering through these arched narrow streets while admiring the Baroque architecture the city is famous for. It really makes you feel like you've stepped into a town straight out of a fairy tale. One of our favorite spots in the old town was this square and its unique set of horse-themed frescoes. The view of the mountains surrounding the city is not too shabby either. We stayed at a lovely boutique hotel close to the city centre, and of course it was Mozart themed. And as temperatures started to drop, we decided to try some hearty, comforting Austrian food at this restaurant, which we highly recommend. We had some warm soup to start with and some mock wine, which was delicious, followed by spatula, a traditional Austrian recipe of cheesy pasta dumplings topped with caramelized onions, the ultimate comfort dish. We also tried the super tender roasted pork and finished off with this mango tiramisu, which is one of the best desserts we've ever had. The next morning, we had a very sweet breakfast at this lovely cake shop, which, again, was 10 out of 10. But make sure you come here early in the day because they run out of cakes very quickly. We then hopped on a train and headed south to these majestic mountains. We were in awe as we drove to Altenmarkt. The views of the mountains from the road were breathtaking. Jesus Christ! And it felt like we were driving to a winter wonderland. As soon as we arrived in our friend's valley, we were immediately shepherded into the forest. Hi, <laughs> 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 Our friend's dog was enjoying it until she wasn't. Come on! Needless to say, the walk was beautiful and the views were mind-blowing. Knowing us, our friends took us to a farm where we made lots of furry friends. We even saw albino deer from afar. <laughs> he showed his teeth. <laughs> Hi, baby. We drove up this incredible mountain and just had to stop, because how can you resist all of this? Hi, one, two. <laughs> oh! We then went sledging, which is the closest we've ever been to skiing. 
and the place where we went was so perfect I thought I was dreaming. Run over Sylvan! <laughs> How to warm up after being in the snow for hours? Have some garlic soup at a traditional Alpe ski restaurant. Danny tried another spatzle and we tried Austrian cheese fondue. And let's just say we did not become huge fans. The apple strudel was delicious though. <laughs> If you've ever scrolled on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen a photo of Alstad. Besides being incredibly popular amongst influencers, it became even more famous when Frozen came out, since it apparently was the inspiration for Arendelle. So you have an idea? Alstad reportedly receives almost a million visitors every year, but only 800 people live here. We're not sure if it was because we visited during winter, on a day without snow, or if it was because we were spoiled with this sort of view the previous day, but we were not impressed with the town itself. We could only see tourists, souvenir shops, and overpriced restaurants, so we felt like there wasn't anything to enjoy besides the views, which weren't bad, but not the best either. We hiked all the way to the World Heritage Skywalk, which took about an hour, and I was hangry, which didn't help. And by the way, you can reach it by funicular, which is a 5 minute ride, but I swear it costs around 20 pounds per person. And this is the view. Let us know in the comments if you think it's worth the hike. Okay, I think the platform up there is not really worth the hike. The view is beautiful midway up, look, and there's no obstruction. And up there, you'll just be a human tripod because everyone will ask you to take photos of it. Yeah, everyone so, is going to ask for a photo. So. Yeah. As we were leaving Hallstatt, we were blessed with this sunset, which was one of the most beautiful things we've ever seen. And that was the end of our January trip. In March, we retraced our steps and went back to the valley.
Good Hello. morning. So we're in the Austrian Alps right now. There's still a bit of snow. It's March, but it's chilly. Do you see the tree house? It's so cool. <laughs> It's actually colder than we expected. I shouldn't have brought these shoes. <laughs> Look at the snow. There's so much snow here still. Yeah. Look at this perfect imprint. So the festival today happens annually on the 17th of March. So St. Patrick's Day for some. And it's one of the biggest festivals in Austria, actually. Apparently there's over 200 stalls. So yeah. maybe we're going to spend a little bit of money today. <laughs> <laughs> I love the tiny pine trees. Hand for scale. <laughs> and then there are these ones, which are over 30 meters tall according to our drone. Crazy. They're so beautiful. I mean, how stunning is this? As you can see, the grass is still burned from the snow. So in the summer and high spring, it must be stunning to see it when it's actually green. But look at those mountains. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've ever seen bright orange moss in my life. That's so funny. Look at it, it's so cool. Look at that, beautiful. Guys, what animal do you think this is? Very tiny, teeny tiny paws. Guys, especially in the spring and summer, you guys need to be careful with cows. Yeah, they get quite territorial, so... Yeah. Okay, it's much warmer down here. Mm. We're heading to the market now, and we're just getting some sun in our faces. And Just enjoying the good weather, really. Yeah, it's perfect. It's so, so nice, blue. so so nice. And we're getting hungry, so let's get some nice food. <laughs> It's a tasty hot dog, not the best I've ever had, but good. <laughs> this is the most amazing feeling I've ever had in my life. Anything that has apricot in it is my favorite thing. That's why I love Austria. <laughs> The market was really nice. They had really cool souvenirs, although quite expensive, so I didn't buy any. They had some really nice merchants. Everyone is so friendly here. We could do a new drinking game. <laughs> Every time I say, I don't speak German, you drink. People just talk to you out of nowhere, and I'm like, I don't speak German. We're just heading back to our friend's house now, and then I think we might get back to the market. A little tonight. later on, yeah. yeah. And then tomorrow we're probably going to do some fun activities. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see you. I am the cat whisperer. Hi! Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. You look okay. Aww. You're so cute, so fluffy. Fluffy. Look at your beautiful fur. Oh. Hello. Hello. Look at this tail. Look at that fluffy booty. Not making friends. <laughs> excellent cat, huh? I'm an excellent cat. Look how sweet she is. There's another one coming behind you. She's furry. Are you getting jealous? 
whatever, so it doesn't like typing. This one does. <laughs> Look at that tiny nose. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> It's such a beautiful part of the world. If you haven't visited Austria, and especially the Alps area, you need to. I mean, look at that. 